Oi, tudo bem? Aqui é a Luciana da Street Smart Brazil. So we are on day six of Rio Olympic Games. It's truly exciting. I have to say I'm not exactly a sports person. I usually don't follow sports. I'm sorry to disappoint some of you, but the Olympics are different. It's so inspiring. We see so much talent, such amazing skills. And the athletes' losses and victories come with amazing stories of determination, perseverance, and dedication. I, I truly love it. I find it fascinating. So this inspiration led me to create this lesson with 39 Olympic sports. You will learn how to say all of them in Brazilian Portuguese. Um, you will also learn how to say Olympics and how to say Olympic Games. There is a pronunciation mistake when people say Olympics in Portuguese, and I hear it very often. And I want you to be able to say it beautifully and correctly. So let's do this. An important related word here is esporte. Esporte. So the way you say the Olympics as Olimpiadas. The trick here and what I often hear wrong is that the stressed syllable the stronger syllable is this P, Olimpiadas. Because if you put the emphasis in the A, Olimpiadas, it sounds wrong, it's wrong, it's really strange. And not to mention that piada means a joke. So it, it sounds wrong. So here you, we have to say the emphasis on the P, Olimpiadas, okay? Again, Olimpiadas. You can also say the Olympic Games. Os Jogos Olímpicos. Os Jogos Olímpicos. Now let's see the different sports we have in the Olympic Games. Tiro com arco. So this is the official name of archery. Tiro com arco. But it's very common for us Brazilians to just say arco e flecha, which is bow and arrow. Arco e flecha. And as with all my videos, all the translations, the list of sports with their translations is on the website and the link to the blog post where you have that is in the video description. So again, tiro com arco or arco e flecha. Well, we don't have a Brazilian word for badminton, so it's badminton. You might find this funny. So, basketball, we just turned this English word into Portuguese. Basketball. Basketball. And often we just say basquete. But there isn't such a word in the Portuguese language. It doesn't mean basket. You know, we're just making Portuguese out of English. Basquete. Vôlei de praia. Vôlei de praia. Boxe. Boxe. Canoagem, slalom. And see, we also keep some words. We often keep some words that are not really in the language, like slalom. So, canoagem, slalom. For the final M, I have a video lesson with the pronunciation of the final M in Brazilian Portuguese. Check it out on my YouTube channel. There's also canoagem de velocidade. I also have a lesson on the pronunciation of the letter D and tells you why I'm saying G instead of D or D. So you can check out on the YouTube channel. Canoagem de velocidade. Ciclismo. So that's the general word for cycling. Ciclismo. We have a few different modal modalities of cycling in the Olympics. Ciclismo BMX. Ciclismo BMX. Ciclismo mountain bike. We just keep the words in English. Ciclismo de estrada. Ciclismo de estrada. Ciclismo de pista. Ciclismo de pista. Salto ornamental. Salto ornamental. Hipismo. So remember when the H is the first letter of the word in Portuguese, it's silent. Hipismo. Hipismo. Esgrima. 
esgrima. Here we have an interesting case too. With the silent age as the first letter in Brazilian Portuguese, we would say ok, right? So ok sobre a grama, ok. But because this word comes from English and a lot of people hear the word in English, many Brazilians will say hockey. I even watched a video where the guy was talking about the sport and he was saying hockey. So you can also hear hockey sobre a grama. Golfi. Golfi. So you have to close the sound of the O compared to the English pronunciation. Golfi. Ginástica artística. Ginástica artística. It's also known as ginástica olímpica. Ginástica olímpica. This is interesting too. It's um, we made a Portuguese word out of English. Handball. Handball. Judo. The trick here is to put the emphasis on the last syllable. Judo. Judo. Maratonas aquáticas. Maratonas aquáticas. Pentatlo moderno. Pentatlo moderno. Ginástica rítmica. The R, when it's the first letter of the word, uh, in Brazilian Portuguese it sounds like the H in English. And I have a lesson on the different sounds of the R, just check out on my YouTube channel. So again, ginástica rítmica. Ginástica rítmica. Remo. Remo. This is an interesting word too, because in real Portuguese we would read rugby, right? Rugby, the sound of the U. But because we listen, we hear the word in English a lot, you will hear people saying rugby. Rugby G7. No, sorry. Rugby G7. Rugby G7. Vela. Vela. Vela means the sail of a boat. In a different context, it also means a candle. Tiro esportivo. Tiro esportivo. Futebol. Futebol. In some parts of Brazil, they pronounce futebol. Futebol. I have a lesson on the pronunciation of the L when it's the final letter of the word. Look, at, look for that on my blog or on my YouTube channel. I also have a lesson with soccer vocabulary. Natação. Natação. Nado sincronizado. Nado sincronizado. Tênis de mesa. Tênis de mesa. We also don't have a real Portuguese word for this one. Taekwondo. Taekwondo. That's how we say it. Tennis. Tennis. Atletismo. Atletismo. Ginástica de trampolim. Ginástica de trampolim. Triatlo. Triatlo. Voleibol. Volleyball, but often we just say volley, volley. Polo aquático, polo aquático. Levantamento de peso, levantamento de peso. Luta olímpica, luta olímpica. Wonderful, I hope you can enjoy the Olympic Games and now you're able to say all the sports in Portuguese. The trick, the secret to speak your second language comfortably is a lot of practice. Street Smart Brazil has amazing instructors who are very well trained to help you learn Portuguese and speak Portuguese with confidence. Book a trial lesson with us to get started. Muito obrigada for watching the video. Tchau, tchau.